Hey guys, I just shot this um, review tutorial, kind of review and tutorial video um, on a bunch of new products I've gotten recently, um, including the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette, um, my Luby liner, as well as the lip colors. And then you guys will get to see my absolute favorite uh, lash curler I just got. Um, in action. It's really, really awesome. You guys need to get this. Um, so if you want to see a little review, a little tutorial on how all these products work, uh, that's the look I have on right now. Um, using the palette, everything, the lip color, and the eyeliner, then uh, keep on watching and I will see you guys next time. So the reason why I put on tape is because I don't want to redo the line too many times, especially for this video, but it's also because of the formula of this liner. Um, it is very pigmented, and you guys will see. Um, you can see how deep and pigmented it is. Um, the actual liquid itself is kind of on the thicker side. So if you pass over too many times, it creates a very thick um, layer of eyeliner on your eyes and it will, it will kind of, um, when it dries, it will create these little flakes and it will flake off throughout the day. And so because I don't want to fix my liner too many times, I uh, put the tape there so I can get a clean line the first time around. Well, I don't know if you guys can see but the texture of the eyeliner is the finish is kind of shiny um, and you can see kind of where it's quite thick right here where I went over. Um, if you go over probably more than twice, twice maybe two, two to three times um, it's going to build up and it, be it will become scalier kind of than this because of the um, shiny finish and then that will kind of flake off through the day and you'll have like little blue um, specks of liner so that is the downside but the finish overall is really really beautiful you can see it it's quite shiny it's very very pigmented um, and the applicator is really easy to use even if you aren't a liner person so I'm going to go in with my favorite lash curler and I'm going to speak about this in a second some more but I just want to show you how well it curls my lashes and it really gets into the roots really really well. Second, I'm going to put on some mascara and I'm going to use the Lulu Face Company mascara. This is my favorite mascara at the moment and I will put on the side for you guys and it just at first it doesn't seem like there's a lot of product on the brush but you just have to layer it on and the brush is quite large so I do look down into a mirror and brush it through actually a very nice mascara for the price um, and it just like holds the curl really really well it's very lengthening um, and you can get more volume you just like I said you have to take time and really really put on lately and I don't know if you can see the difference there's the one with the mascara and there's the one without mascara so now that I have my eyes done, I want to talk a lot about the products that I just used. Um, the Louboutin liner. It is beautiful. The packaging is stunning. Um, I think the applicator is great. I think the formula is beautiful. Like I said, my I think the one downfall with it is if you layer it too much, it will flake off throughout the day, which um, is really disappointing for the price. But I think that it's a stunning eyeliner. Um, 
I really like the color. I mean, if you're going to choose, I feel like if you're going to choose um, a unique colored liner, I think this is really fun. The teal, deep teal, um, I think will flatter many skin tones and eye colors, uh, but isn't too bold or too crazy. I mean, they also have the red, which I think is, it's in a beautiful bottle as well. It's the ombre bottle. And then a black, which you know, that works for every day. So if you're a big liner person, I think you'll really, really like this. If you like that kind of shiny or finish, I think it's really fun. I'm not a huge liner person, but this has really made me love eyeliner. So, um, I do think it's worth the purchase. Uh, the only thing I am disappointed about is, um, let me grab it. The only thing I am disappointed about is that it doesn't come in this beautiful, kind of um, display package that the lipsticks often come in so I don't have a lipstick in here but um, they come in a very very nice box um, and it just kind of comes in a regular old box but um, I mean I guess you would want to keep it in the box because it's so beautiful I, I keep it on my vanity it's a beautiful piece um, to have um, as far as luxury beauty goes um, going into <laughs> my favorite new eyelash curler. This is from, um, I actually bought it from a Japanese store for $20, but I found it on Amazon for 15. So you guys can buy this. This is called, um, it's called Koji. I just like ripped it out of the box. Um, and it's a really, really nice eyelash curler for Asian eyes, or if you have kind of the hooded eyes or flat kind of eye shape, because I don't know if you can see, but it is very wide, but it's very, very flat and it sits beautifully up against your eyelid and it gets into the very um, root of your lashes when you curl it. And so it gets amazing, amazing curl. This is better, in my opinion, than the Shuomura. And I love the Shuomura. I've had mine for. So like I said, I think it's better than the Shuomura. Um, I have the Shumer right here, and let me see if I can show you that you can see this has a lot more curve to it. This is much more flat, and you can kind of you can kind of tell this is a lot wider, and it it kind of takes because you know um, Asian eyes are so elongated. You know we have lashes all the way out here, out here, but they're not getting they're not getting curled when there's such a curve to um, this curler. As this curler is very flat, it fits the entire eyelid, your entire elongated eyelid shape, and it fits every single lash in there. And it's so amazing. Um, it comes with, so it comes with the, the pad inside, and then there's, there's four additional um, replacement pads. For, I mean, like, I bought it for $20, and I think it's totally worth it. Um, but if you find it on Amazon, you just look up the Koji um, eyelash curler with um, a holder. So it also comes with a travel holder. This is so nice. It's so crazy here. Show you guys. You guys can put it in here, close it up, and take it to go. That's so awesome. I've always wanted a case for my eyelash curler because I just I didn't know what to do with it. Do I just throw it in with my brushes or do I just throw it in with all my makeup? It's kind of... It gets nasty, it gets crushed, and like you don't want to ruin the um, the pad inside it. So, such a such a good eyelash curler. I think it's amazing. The price is really reasonable. If you guys can find it um, on Amazon or at your like local Japanese supermarket, I highly highly recommend it. Um, and this is a product that I've already reviewed on my blog, but this is from Lulu Face Company. This is my favorite current favorite mascara and as you can see it's very separating and lengthening um, and it does hold a curl really really well but it's not waterproof but it does have kind of a water resistance to it so it doesn't smudge I've never had problems with it smudging um, the formula is quite black and it just it, the only thing I have a problem with it does take a lot of time to build but if you if you know if you want to put in the time it it does create really, really beautiful lashes. And the price is pretty reasonable. I believe it's $23. Um, and it is a great mascara. So um, I'm going to go into doing my face. And 
I got this little set from Cali Beauty or Dom from Instagram and she gave it to me um, as part of her giveaway prize and it's the Perfect and Cleanse Sponge Trio from Sephora and I've been using this and I absolutely love it. I haven't used sponges in a really really long time for my foundation. Um, I used to use Beauty Blender and other things a lot uh, when I was doing makeup on other people a lot too but um, I haven't bought a new one in a long, long time. So, um, so I'm just gonna use this sponge with uh, a little sample foundation I have. I have, this is like the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, I believe. And I love the way this, um, this sponge creates coverage, but it looks so light, so. It covers up all my redness, which I've always had a problem with covering my redness. Um, I've always had a problem with covering my redness around my nose. And, you know, I put concealer there, but it just looks so heavy. So this product... So this sponge does a very good job of covering the face, but still having a super natural finish and you can kind of see the finish that the coverage I'm getting um, is super full coverage like I was really shocked when I used this because I wasn't expecting the coverage to be so high because usually sponges kind of sheer out um, product because you um, you've wet the sponge you know but this is really, really oppressive. And it covers up all my redness around my nose with just foundation. Like I don't need to um, use concealer really. Um, and if I do, it's it just helps. So what I love about this sponge is the shape. Like, I mean, there's this pointed end and you get here, there's another kind of pointed end and tapers. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm dipping it into my concealer. And I just love the finish it gives to the skin. And like I said, the coverage is incredible, but it doesn't feel heavy or look heavy at all, which I really, really love. Um, I'm always such a brush girl. Like I love using brushes and I never use um, sponges, but this sponge has really changed my routine. I'm, I'm really loving the finish and the coverage I'm getting from it. And like even concealing, you know, you can dab on a lot of concealer. Like I have sunspots right here. And it covers it, but it doesn't make it look like you have a ton of product just sitting right there on those spots so like if you you know if you're very acne prone or have a lot of acne and you want a full coverage but you don't want it to look like you have a lot of coverage I mean these sponges are such a good investment for that and I mean I know it's silly it's just I haven't used a sponge in so long that like I'm just amazed right now about <laughs> Um, the co like the coverage I'm getting and just like the overall look I'm getting with um, this and so I am very very happy because it covers up all my dark spots and like discoloration spots that I have um, on my skin so I've also been using the sponge to um, set my under eyes um, and I've been really really liking it because it even if you put on a lot of product, it doesn't end up caking under there. And it actually, it really does seal everything in there um, and prevent creasing. So I can see why everyone's all about the sponges. I guess I'm just really behind. I haven't used a sponge in a long time, but I'm all about it now. I think it's going to be my new thing because I really need it to seal in these concealed areas. Um, 
the problem I have throughout the day is that these um, the areas where I conceal, especially around the nose, the time tends to break down and then all that redness is showing again. But now that I've been using the sponge, it really seals it in with the powder and I don't have to worry about that. So now I'm going to go in with the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette and I'm going to use the, let's see, I'm gonna use the bronzer in, uh, I think this is Malibu Soleil. And I really, really like this bronzer. Um, this is one of the things that I would definitely purchase um, as an individual product because it is so nice. I like, I like the color. It, it's um, has warmth to it, but it's not too warm, so it won't make you look orange or funny looking. So you can still sculpt with it. I'm just using an angled brush by Sephora. And it does apply it beautifully. The um, texture is really soft and it blends so nicely into the skin. Um, this Malibu Soleil shade is kind of, it almost has like a slight rosiness to it, which makes it look very, very, very natural and makes it look like a true tan color. Um, on many skin tones. I mean, I think this palette overall is meant for a medium tan skin tone like Chrissy Teigen, um, somebody with kind of warmer or yellow undertones because it, the shades really do flatter and cater to those skin tones. And I'm just powdering or bronzing underneath as well onto the neck. So I, I love this bronzer. I actually, I wish that this was the, in the big pan instead of the rose gold and the rose gold was in the smaller pan because I'm gonna tear through bronzer way before I, you know, finish one of, even one of these um, highlighters. Um, I do like that this blush is in a small pan because it's really, really pigmented and I'm not gonna, I mean, by the time I, finish that, I probably will have finished everything else in the palette, you know. Um, and the blush is in Hibiscus Bloom. And I'm just going to take another little angle brush and I just take a little dot of it and brush it onto my cheeks. I don't go to blush crazy like on the regular, I really don't. Um, I like a little light flush, but I'm going to put on a little more than I normally would because I want you guys to see it. It's a really nice fresh um, fresh pink. Nothing too unique. So like I'm not the problem I have with this palette is that all the shades aren't very special. Um, uh, I do like I said I do really like the bronzer. And then I'm going to go in with the um, peach, what is this called? Peach, beach nectar, sorry, beach nectar. And I like this one the most. I like this one more than the rose gold because I feel like the rose gold is super subtle and, and it's so similar. Like these two are so similar. I don't know why you would put them in the same palette. That's actually the real issue I have with this palette is this rose gold shade feels so unnecessary. It's just a slightly darker version and more subtle shimmer than the um, beach, uh, beach shade. And so like I feel, <laughs> I feel like I bought this palette for these two because I love the bronzer and I love this, um, this highlighter shade. But I feel like this peach, this um, blush shade is isn't very like unique like uh, I, I have something like that in my collection and then the rose gold is nice but it's so similar to this like I wish it was a different color or a different product um and I'll I'll put the rose gold one on on my other 
cheek for you guys so you guys can see but like can you really tell the difference between the rose gold and the slightly this looks slightly deeper just just a hint and um but I don't really feel like it's worth having you know um honestly I like this more than the Jaclyn Hill one. I think it's much more flattering for my skin tone and for a uh, warm tan skin tone. Uh, I love the packaging. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it feels very sturdy. You could take it traveling, but I'd be very, very careful because the Becca formulations are super, super soft and they tend to break really, really easily. Um, like I said, I kind of wish, and they might bring it out as individuals like they have done with Champagne Pop and all the Jaclyn Hill stuff but um I kind of wish I just bought this bronzer on its own and then I wish I they had this as an individual I would have just bought that um a palette for me is nice but not necessary I don't really like I said I don't really know if it's worth it to have two two highlighter shades that are so similar like I mean I'm wearing one on each cheek and I don't really see the difference blush is okay it's a nice color it's very pigmented like I said um you can't really go wrong with Becca Becca has amazing formulas they're very soft they're super pigmented and, and incredible if you want to try Becca I mean I think this is great um I think if you have a medium to tan skin tone this is ideal but if you go too dark or I think if you're a lot lighter you're going to um you're going to have to be really careful with some of the shades I think because um they probably won't flatter you as much depending on if you're a lot cooler toned and everything but um, it's nice mm, you know um, so finally for lips I wanted to talk about these guys these guys are the Louboutin uh, uh, metallic nudes and I got two shades um, I'm not crazy about both of them so I got the Bronzima and the Preci Preciosa, Precious, something like that. It's like Precious, but it's in a different language. <laughs> um, the bronze one is the one that disappointed me. It looks beautiful in the tube. It's kind of this rosy bron rose gold bronze shade. Absolutely stunning. It has a lot of um, shimmers in it, but it's super sheer. So the problem I have with this is it doesn't, it looks pretty on at first. But as like the shimmer wears off, so maybe if you're drinking something or eating something, then the tint that's left over, it just looks like I have like a clear lip gloss on or something like that. It's just, it, it's very underwhelming for how beautiful it looks like in the tube. Um, and it's definitely not as dark as you see in some of the pictures too on Instagram and some of the pro, promo images. But um, it's really, it's pretty, but it's not my favorite. Um... The one I think that is worth it is this one. It's the lightest shade. Um, and it's this beautiful ballerina pink. And I'm going to put it on for you guys right now. You guys can see the shimmer is amazing. Um, these are these both are very sheer. This one is quite sheer. Like I said, the tint is the bronze tint looks just kind of like my looks like my lips. It's like a very natural uh, color. But this color is such a pretty nude shade. Uh, um, yeah, so as you can see, this one actually makes a difference. Um, it actually looks nude. Um, excuse my lips, they're a bit dry right now. But um, I think this shimmer and iridescence is really pretty. It's kind of like silvery pink. Um, has a lot of dimension in different colors. I think it would be beautiful layered over other lip colors. But I love just wearing it alone. Um, it feels really nice. It's not metallic. Which I think is like a little misleading. But it is very wearable. It's a very wearable metallic. Um, it does have a heavy floral scent to it. So just like the ones from their original line, they're very heavily scented. Um, it doesn't bother me, but if you're bothered by scents, this is, 
It's like, I feel like floral for lips is probably the most unappealing scent. And I don't know if that's just me, but if I had to rank um, lip flavors or scents, I, I would say, you know, vanilla or that cake flavor is like on the top. And then mint, I'm not crazy about mint, but mint is okay. And then it's, then it's this weird floral, like, why would you put, it just tastes like you sprayed your mouth with some perfume or fragrance. So it, it's, it can be very unappealing. Um, I kind of gotten over it. It's, I mean, there's, uh, I like the Dolce & Gabbana lip colors and they have the same scent. It's just very perfumey. Um, beautiful. I think if you really, really want one of the metallic nudes, get the lightest one because I think it will work for many people. It is sheer um, and it does make a difference. Like it, like as it wears off, it still has this kind of muty pink color, whereas this bronze shade doesn't really do anything. It's, it's very, I don't know, it's, it's very disappointing. It's kind of light and sheer, but um, anyways, this is my look, the little review tutorial. Um, overall, I think if you wanted to get anything from this video, I think the one thing you should take away, and I think the one thing you should get from this video is the, um, lash curler, the Koji lash curler. It is awesome. 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 I think it works for any eye shape, but particularly if you have Asian lids, elongated eyes, that kind of whole thing. This is an amazing mas um, mascara, amazing lash curler. Um, and then I think if I had to like rank the other things, I do really like this. This is kind of one of my top picks. I've been really liking it this month. Um, just this particular shade I think is great. Um, this is somewhere in the middle. This is like if you love Chrissy and Becca, maybe you need this palette. Um, if you love peachy rose gold shades, maybe you need this palette, but I don't know. I don't know if it, if it warrants getting, if you have a big collection like I do. Um, I'm a big Becca fan. I think it's great. Um, I don't regret getting it, but I want the bronzer to be bigger. <laughs> I really love the bronzer. I think, I think the bronzer really impressed me. And I do like the Chrissy um, highlighter color, the Beach um, Beach Nectar. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Um, is it worth buying the whole palette just for those two? Probably not. Uh, bought a collector's item, right? So um, liner, I do really love this. It's this is it's extravagant and a little ridiculous, but as far as like a cool colored liner, something different, I would purchase this again. And, um, I do like this mascara. It's a little simple, you know, uh, 20 bucks is not too much and it, it works really well. Um, I think it's, I think it's a really cool, like, um, you know, separating and lengthening curling mascara. 